Yeah. You supposed to be recording the show. You running this to the Zach Fox? That's a slapper, though. But you supposed to be starting the show. Uh, you start YouTube today. Yeah, YouTube. What's up, man? Hey, I'm trying to get you on the show. Hey, you got to get on the show. Hey, you got to get on the show. Hey, you got to get on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to get into it right now. Matter of fact, go ahead and um, cue my music. What's going on, YouTube? This is G. And um, you are tuned in to Talking Sneakers with G. So you're probably wondering, um, all right, so what you about to be talking about? And there's a lot to be talked about. We got to talk about rumors. We going to talk about Nikes. going to talk about news. Sneaker news, that is. Adidas. Ugly Shoes. Reeboks. Asics. Sneaker collaboration, sneaker packs, sneaker release dates, etc., etc., etc. Just a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to sprinkle all kind of other stuff in between that. But yeah, that's basically it. So turn up your phone volume or adjust the brightness on your TV or computer screen if you need to. And let's talk. The first thing we're going to talk about are the Travis Scott's that are not coming out. Yep. Those yellow Travis Scott sixes, those aren't dropping. Now, they might be another friends and family, but as far as a release, like the olive joints, not coming out. But aside from that, let's talk about the fit Offset had with those yellow Travis Scott's on. He had on some kind of Woody's Roundup Toy Story 5 jeans. I don't know what those jeans were, but I definitely want to rock it with those Travis Scott's, but then again, you know, we rich, we gotta do rich people stuff, you know what I'm saying? So that's that looked like what that was. It looked like it was like a a rich flex, but I don't think I would have done that. Um, speaking of another pair of yellow shoes that ain't coming out, the off-white Jordan 1's, not dropping either. I don't know if Jordan got something against them yellow shoes, but um, neither of those are dropping. And more Travis news though, he dropped some Nike SBs if you ain't heard about it. And those things are pretty fresh. I was scrolling Instagram. Let me go ahead and bring it up. I was scrolling Instagram and um, I went ahead and pulled them up. And you can see those things are looking very nice. Somebody got them in hand already. Boy rocking a Rolex too. So it might be pretty legit. But you see them. Now them things looking fresh. And the thing about it is the whole little bandana print that's around the like toe and even on the side, that peels away and then it reveals an elephant print underneath. Um, I'm most definitely am going to be trying to get these. Um, and I don't know, this is a, usually shoes that have like, it rubs away and relieves a, um, reveals a color underneath and all of that. I usually am not one for that but it shows elephant print i don't know man this might be the first shoe i voluntarily rip up so i could see that under layer but um yeah those are definitely dropping in february in recent sean wertherspoon news yeah this guy right here um he's the one that dropped those air max 97 ones that everybody loves yeah in recent sean wertherspoon news he has a collab coming out with the Asics. Um, basically has the same kind of idea. Has a whole bunch of corduroy prints. And, um, well, actually one corduroy print. It has a corduroy print with a whole bunch of different colors. And it has interchangeable Asics signs. So that's actually pretty tight. And um, then he's going to go ahead and drop a collab with Adidas. So he has this little passage that he talked about why he want to work with Adidas and all that. So you can look at it right here. Pause it if you want to read the rest. More Adidas news. Beyonce, she's dropping an Adidas Collect. Everybody's heard about it or whatnot, but we finally got pictures of the shoes that are coming out. She's dropping four shoes, all right? So the first one's gonna be a Super Sleek 72, and then she has two pairs of night joggers, two different colorways, and then she has an Ultra Boost. And I like the colors that she uses on these shoes. Like, I'm not even going front. Like. These are clean. That burgundy ultra boots with the orange bottom, that is clean. And you know, Beyonce out here trying to um, go ahead and show like what the collector's looking like. She, she went ahead and dropped the pic showcasing the shoes and um. Oh, oh yeah, we supposed to be, we supposed to be looking at the shoe. You see the shoe right there? That's, that's it. The shoe was so nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, yeah, that's what Beyonce's doing. 
Now in big collab news, Jordan Brand is going to collaborate with Christian Dior. Yep, Jordan Brand collaborating with a high fashion brand. This is much like when Supreme collaborated with Louis Vuitton back in the day in 2017. Yeah, something like that. But they're just bringing us shoes and clothes. So the shoes that are coming out are a Jordan 1 high and a Jordan 1 low. Now look at them. Shoes of flame. Super hot. Super fire. All of that. But get this. The shoes are $2,000. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Now, the reason the shoes are said to be $2,000 is one, they're going to be made in France. They're going to be handmade, hand painted, all of that stuff. So all done by hand. So they're basically making the shoe like it's a Rolls Royce. So they're putting it all together by hand. And I know most of you are like $2,000 for a pair of J's. I know you're like, I can't afford that. But I bet you Jordan Brand is saying. That's too damn bad. So all the information we have so far is that the shoes are going to be two thousand dollars. It's rumored to a thousand pairs. And as far as like the lows and the highs, we don't know how many pairs of lows and highs we're going to get. But yeah, that's all the information we have thus far. And it's rumored to release in April of this year. Any other information I get, I'll be sure to tell you. But that's all I got right now. Now I'm about to dip up out of here, but before I leave, I think I should leave you guys with a sneaker meme or a funny sneaker video. And um, this time it's gonna be this. Wear Fila Disruptors or draw the whole deck. That's a smart man. He got the whole deck in his hands because ain't nobody wearing Fila Disruptors out here, man. Matter of fact, if you don't know what Fila Disruptors are, take a look. If you like the show, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff they tell you to do in every video. But actually, for me, legit do it. Um, then I'll come back with another video to give y'all more information and more news. All right? Other than that, it's your boy G, and I'm out. I can't end this video, though, without saying rest in peace to one of the best to ever do it. On January 26, 2020, we lost Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest basketball players that ever touched the court, along with his daughter Gianna and seven other people in a helicopter crash. Our hearts, thoughts, and prayers go out to each and every one of your family members and friends. Please join me in a moment of silence. You'll be missed. See y'all next episode.